Good morning, welcome to another episode of Getting Dirty with Glenn. Today I've got a couple projects on tap here. Um, I'm gonna be putting a video, or I have probably already put a video up about my new Trek Marlin Plus 8, the e-bike that Trek just released in the United States back on February 1st. I've been working on building that bike, putting on the accessories that I like. And now that it's 90% built with all the accessories, I've gotta find a place to hang it. And fortunately for me, I've got a two, two and a half car garage, but my Ford F-150 with a cap on it is too big to fit in here. So guess what? I get all this space for uh, snowshoes and cross country skis and bikes and all this stuff over here. Um, tool bench or toolbox and a nice workbench over here. But um, I still don't like having bikes just sitting on here. So years ago, I found out about this company called Steady Rack. This is not paid. In fact, I paid for this myself. I just think it's a great product. Um, and I've got to put the steady rack up on the wall. I currently have one over here for a fat bike that I had. And what's great about this is that you put the bike on here and then you can move it out of the way. If you have cars in the garage, you can move it sideways and it gets everything out of the way. Uh, this is for a four inch tire. My <laughs> tire on my new uh, Trek Marlin is only 2.6, I believe, so I had to get a different rack for it. I'll be taking this one down, but now I've got to rearrange, <laughs> excuse me, rearrange a few things. I've got my snowshoes and stuff over here right now, um, and I'm going to have to figure out what I would do with those. I'm going to take this bike rack down that's for another e-bike that would not work with steady rack because of a fender issue. So I'm going to take this one down. I'm going to take my new steady rack. I think I'm going to mount it right here. I'm going to move these snowshoes over to where that steady rack's coming off. And then I can put, that allow me, this was originally designed when I had a couple of e-bikes. I can put the, bat the battery charger right here. It'll be plugged into a power strip. And then I can just plug it in every time I'm done riding. So those are the projects I've got to work on today. And like I said, with the steady rack, they have, uh, the steady rack has a lot of different models, everywhere from a four or five inch a fat tire bike uh, to e-bikes that are a little bit heavier. <laughs> my e-bike, excuse my cough, just getting over a cold. Um, my e-bike is actually a little bit lighter. I'm not sure what the weight is offhand, but some e-bikes are 70, 80 pounds. So they do have uh, e-bike specific um, racks. And they're not very costly. I think most of these are around $90, give or take. I'll put links in the description below for uh, a link to steady rack like i said not compensated um, but i just think it's a great program i had a client once two adults five kids 10 bikes in a four car garage that took up one whole bay that's when i first found steady rack and i put 10 bikes on the wall from fat bike to little kids bikes and it worked great and it's been in their garage like that ever since so time for me to get started i got to figure out how i'm going to rearrange this you got any ideas I don't know, you know, it'd be great uh, what we're gonna do here. I've got a hose, air hose right here, and an air compressor. Um, and I've just gotta figure out quite the, which alignment's gonna work best for me. So we'll be back just like that. All right, let's take a quick overview of the rack before it's installed. It's pretty simple. There's the main rack right here. And then this is the rear tire mount, which will go at the base of the wall. You've got four big lag bolts to put it into the studs. Um, I've only put these in studs, like I said, here in the garage. I've got exposed studs. The garage for my client had a finished drywall, but all you do is use a stud locator and locate all the studs. And they have these for, for putting, actually, I think maybe in drywall, but I would not trust drywall to hold an e-bike. That's just me. Um, I'm really, con <laughs> really conservative on that. You also got these caps. Once you get this mounted here, these caps just slip in, give it a nice clean look. The directions are straightforward. They tell you how to measure your bike against the wall so you know where to place the mount for easiest loading and unloading. That's about it. Um, I'll get started on that. And that's one step closer to getting my bike on the right. wall. Pretty easy installation steps. They Show you to set your bike up in the steady rack as it'd be hanging on the wall with the back tire facing the wall and then to have it X number of centimeters or inches away from the wall for easy loading. 
Um, depending on the weight of your bike, steady rack may sag a little bit, not a whole lot, it's very sturdy, um, but allow for that. And then you simply line up that top hole with your ruler, which in this case is 77 inches. So I'm gonna measure 77 inches off the ground, and that's where the hole is gonna be mounted on here. Pretty simple stuff. All right, after measuring, it happens to go in the exact same holes that I had for a previous steady rack that was in here for another bike. So uh, I did measure and that's where it was. So you put two lag bolts up there, two down here in the bottom. I just gotta put these uh, caps on here that make it look a little bit cleaner. And then this is actually the old rear wheel mount. I'll take that one down because the new one's a little bit nicer. And then I'll be ready to hang my bike. Well, it's time to see this bike will work on there, see if I got the right height. First thing I'll do is I'll take this bike, put it up there, and then I'll figure out where the rear or the bottom track goes for the tire on there. Sometimes I'll leave these uh, panniers on there. They go, they're on easy and off enough. We'll take them off here right now. Great Arkell panniers. But what I found works best for me in putting these up. If you just squeeze the rear brake, stand the bike up, even the little kids can do this. Then you walk up here, get up to where you want it, and there you go. It's that simple. It's a great thing. Now you can turn this to the side. Um, I got to put that rear wheel down there. This is the uh, I'm gonna have to put on there. I'll mount this down here now that I know where that back tire is hit. I'll put a center line in there and uh, be good to go. That's how easy it is. If you wanna ride your bike, you just come up to it, grab it. I like using my knee on the seat just to help. It uh, just raises it up, walks right out. I always squeeze the brakes, drop it down to the side and uh, that's how easy it is to put a steady rack um, bike storage system together. I've got another video that I'm doing on this is my new Trek Marlin Plus 8 entry level mountain bike for Trek. I do a lot of modifications to it because I'm six foot four, 32 inch inseam, same body type as Michael Phelps without the six pack or the endless gold medals. Um, so I always have to do a lot of <laughs> just sit more upright. I just always do a lot of additions to this. And we'll talk about this. This is a game changer if you ride bikes. I've got a video I've already done on this that I'll be posting. So that's it, steady rack. Like I said, not compensated. I just love the product. So remember to lead with love and kindness and I will see you out on the bike trail.